guys, it's your girl Lindsay Schoolcraft here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I just want to give a shout out to uh, Felix Marcel, Marcel Felix, Marcel Felix. Dyslexia is on high today. Marcel Felix, thank you so much for getting me this camera and helping me start my YouTube video. I really appreciate you and thank you to everyone who was part of the fan funding and uh, helped me get all the equipment I need. Um, uh, there's a few videos that I need to film back at home because I need to be home for them. Um, but anyways, I wanted to do my first tour vlog about um, my first solo tour through Australia with my electric harp Lilith, who you can see behind me here. She was also fan funded to me, so thank you to everyone who helped me with that. Um, so at the end of May in 2018, I was approached by um, Incursion Events and they, the owner, tried, he took me up for a vegan, a vegan burger, veg, veggie burger, and he asked me if I wanted to come back. Now originally this was just supposed to be a DJ tour and I said, yeah, I'd love to come back to Australia, especially in the winter because um, it's so cold in Canada right now and I go back in two days, they're like minus 10, can't wait. Um, you know, and uh, I have friends here, I have lots of friends in Melbourne and friends in Sydney, so I was like... Yeah, absolutely. So, um, once I agreed to it, um, excuse me, I've had a lot of iced coffee. Um, once uh, I got back home, you know, we started discussing it and it turned into doing um, a show with my, my harp, which my goal last year was to get better at the harp and this pushed me to be a lot better at the harp. Not amazing, I feel I can be better, but it pushed me to be better. Um, and like playful songs and compose and arrange my solo stuff and covers and what have you. Um, so, and then it went into some weird stuff, like, um, a very Amanda Palmer style, like, hangouts and Q&As, and then I played harp for a yoga class yesterday, it was fantastic. I'll tell the whole story, well, we'll start in the beginning, but anyways, um, it turned into that, and, uh, yeah, um, some bands came in and played too, so, um, it was a kind of a weird time of year to go on tour, because I literally left the 28th, so I didn't love December, so I didn't really get to enjoy my holiday that much. I was literally like playing the harp all morning and preparing for the tour, and then I was seeing family in the evening on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and Boxing Day. Um, so it was definitely a lot. Um, before this tour, I had some, a lot of problems. I um, My finger's better now, but my middle finger swelled up twice its size. We don't know what happened. Um, I, knowing me, I'm really klutzy. I wake up at like 5 a.m. to go to the bathroom because I drank a lot of water and I probably bashed the bone on a door frame because that's just how I roll. Um, and um, my partner came over and he started like icing it and cooling it and icing it and cooling it and eventually like, you know, he, th he thinks from how I reacted, he thinks I just bruised the bone but I had like a bursted blood vein so it was great. It was fantastic. Um, <laughs> So I was just literally um, for a few days playing the harp with just my left hand because I'm like I have to keep up on the practice like I can't suck. You know what I'm learning the harp around cradle shows which like again you go away you lose your technique because I'm not playing the harp on the road. Gonna change, got a travel harp, stoked. Um, anyways, so you know I had a little bit of a meltdown on boxing day because I was just like oh my god I'm gonna be terrible, this is so bad. Anyways the heel, like the hand healed up, we're good, we're good. Um, so it takes about 35 hours to travel from um, Toronto to Sydney. I had a 15 hour flight over the North Pole to uh, Hong Kong and then I waited four hours and then from Hong Kong to Sydney I had a nine hour flight but I slept on that flight and when I landed in Sydney my friends were like how do you have energy? So anyways whatever when I got to Sydney um I uh, shout out to my friends uh, Melissa McKenzie and Simeon Bartholomew and their cat Harry. They let me stay with them in Sydney. They're fantastic people. Um, check out Sims Band. They're called Seams. I believe it's S E I M S. I'll link them below. Really cool math rock band. He's a really talented musician, bassist. Love, love them to bits. Thanks guys for letting me sleep on your inflatable couch that kept deflating in the middle of the night. It's okay. Or sorry, couch to say couch, inflatable mattress. Anyways, it's okay. I still slept. That's all that matters. And I got to hang out with Harry the cat. He was great. Um, I felt like I have more pictures of my friends' cats from do cats and dogs from this tour than I do with my actual friends. But that's just kind of how things happen. Anyways. Um, so uh, I came and I had a whole day off. And I stayed up that whole day. And they was like shocked I stayed up past 11 o'clock. Even though I was like super tired and jet lagged. And then I woke up the next day and I did the New Year's gig. Um, so my harp set was part of the, the VIP and this was my first introduction to Australian heckling. When you're on stage, people just like to yell at you. And it totally threw me off and I totally forgot to mention, hey, I have merch at the back and whatever, I got through it. Um, I only played four songs. I believe I played um, one off my new album and I played Nymphetamine, 
and then I closed with Stranger, which is a Mary and the Black Lamb song. It's not part of my solo album. And I did a cover of Bjork's uh, Yoga. So, or Yaga. I'm not sure how to say that. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Um, got through that. Uh, and then um, I had a really fun meet and greet. Thanks to everyone who showed up for that. That was so much fun. Um, and then uh, I did a DJ set. And that was the only night my DJ set was played for the whole length. was on New Year's. It went over really well. I will post the DJ set on my Facebook because people have been requesting it. I will do that after I film this video. Um, so yeah, so then the next day was New Year's Day. Um, and just a side note, when I got offered this tour, I called my partner right away and said, are you like, okay with me being away on New Year's? And you know, he's like, well, what, are you gonna hang out with your mom? Like, when I'm like, no, I'm going to Australia. And he was just like, so excited for me. Um, we tried to bring him with me and then we tried to bring my guitarist Cody with me, um, to help with the acoustic shows, but it's just really expensive and we'll, we'll figure things out another time. Sorry, Cody. You're still my homie and I'll find a way to get you on tour. <laughs> Same with you, Scott, um, who's my drummer. Anyways. So, um, yeah, uh, the, the day off on New Year's. So my friend Melly Mel is just like, we should go to the beach. It included an hour long hike and it was beautiful. And they kept making sure I put on sunscreen every 30 minutes. So thank you for that. You guys are really good friends. The beach was amazing. Um, I got one of my tote bags. Um, from my merch as an extra gift from Carissa. Carissa Designs, thank you so much for doing my merch here in Australia. And I ruined it by getting sand in it and getting the um, ocean water on it. And now, don't ever do this. Now my merch bag is just a sloppy mess and it doesn't look all that great anymore. But that's my own fault and uh, you look you look. So anyways, um, it was nice. The beach was good. Uh, the ocean water, my hair is like, I'm going for this like blue black look with my hair now. Stripped out a lot of blue dye. There was dye all over the towel. But anyways, it was cool. There was like... There's like lizards, these big, I think they're called guanas, or iguana, they're not iguanas, but they're, they're just these big lizards hanging out, like sunbathing on the beach. And it reminded me of um, the, the twin sisters in The Simpsons, they had like that lizard named Chub Chub, so I was like, Chub Chub, they're everywhere. I saw my first spider in Australia, my third time in Australia, and I finally saw my first spider. I'm pretty sure it was a poisonous one. We looked at it, we walked away, the end. Don't want to die. Don't feel like dying, got shit to do. Anyways. um. By the end of that day, between being in the sun and hiking for like an hour upstairs, like stairs, to get down to the beach and then up again, I was pooped. Um, a, a Mel is very athletic, me not so much. <laughs> That's okay, it was still a great memory and I had so much fun and I will post photos of those um, soon, like that day at the beach. Very, very cool. Um, the next day I did a like like I'm, I'm very Amanda Palmer style like hang out I played my whole set so I played two originals from the upcoming album I played Nymphetamine and I played Fading Star Stranger and ended again with Yoga by Bjork um and I chose that song because Bjork has a lot of weird timings and key changes and it was the only one that stayed in the same key and fit my voice type so thanks for that Bjork you're cool I totally left out the entire electronic section but it is what it is um I had a really fun Q&A people asked me a lot of stuff about like my sobriety and just a lot of stuff about cradle filth because being in cradle filth is like extremely interesting I believe there I have to do a video about what it's like to work for Danny filth I'll get to it eventually um but uh, there was that and then the next day I was on my way to Melbourne so I got in Melbourne and Arn Lyons picked me up and he tattooed me he finally gave me my open door vines around my um my very first tattoo which is like two base clefts that make a heart and I got that during the time when I played the bass and the cello so it made sense but anyways it's still much for my love of music and my love of low end I'm such a Wagner I love low strings so anyways yeah <laughs> um there was that and then um that night I got to go for dinner with some friends and a lot of the Neo uh Nabla Viscaris guys so that was really nice we totally didn't take um pictures of dinner but whatever you don't want to take pictures of everything it was a beautiful moment and that's all I care about um and Zen gave me the Virgin Black album and I can't home and listen to that. I'm really excited. I love Virgin Black. They're from Adelaide. They're doom gothic metal band. They're so good. Go check them out if that's what you're into. Love them. Um, anyways, enough about that. Um, Alana and her amazing fiance Troy, who, um, Alana is a vocal coach. She's my vocal coach. And Troy is a producer and sound engineer for Nabla Viscaris. They let me stay at their place with their hairless cat Nurgle. So thank you guys. That was awesome. I fell in love with Nurgle. Um, he's a little hairless sphinx. 
and he reminded me so much of my baby Max when I, I had my Siamese for like, well, he was a Siamese Burmese cross at him for 20 years. And the best way to describe any cat that's in the Siamese family, it's like a mix of a cat and a monkey. And Nurgle is definitely a little bit of a monkey, but he really bonded with me and it was really sweet and I fell in love with him. My mom doesn't like hairless cats, but I think I could change my mom's mind if she just met one because they're freaking adorable. Anyway, so there's that. Um, the next day was the Melbourne show. It was a really long day. Um, there were some interviews. Me and Zen sat backstage and talked for like two hours. Um, our Black Metal Project Antique was going forward slowly, but surely we just got to give each other's tasks, weekly tasks, and get through it. And that's how that project is going to come to be this year. Come on, Black Metal Gods, give us some breathing space to make this happen like a praying. I don't know who the Black Metal Gods are, but... Maybe that guy that uh, Varg killed, maybe he's like one of the black metal gods. He's in the afterlife, it is what it is. It's grim, it's black metal, I'm going with it, okay? We're just gonna leave it at that because it's gonna get really dark really fast. Um, yeah, so I got to catch up with my best friend, which was great because we live on opposite, opposite sides of the world and we still always come together and we have a project together and dark humor and it's great. Like, Zen's one of my best friends and I'm, I'm just gonna stop because I'm just gonna keep gushing all this love for him and we need to focus on the whole tour vlog. Anyways, um, Alana helped me with my um, vocal warm-ups, and I was super nervous on stage that night, uh, but I got through it. I think I was nervous because the heckling was pretty bad, but there's like a lot of prog musicians that were in the audience, and I'm like, oh my god, they're judging me. They're gonna know my timing is shit. They're gonna know when I play a chord wrong. Ah! You know, that was like totally was going through my head, and I tried to kill that voice, but I didn't do a very good job of killing that voice before I got on stage. <laughs> Uh, we had some really cool acts play that night. Um, it was great. It was an all-around great night. And at the end of my set, um, when I did the uh, yoga cover, I got Tim Charles from New Above Scares and his wife Tash to come out on stage and play violin for me. And they did such a good job. And I love them so much. Thank you guys. That was like oh, this cherry on top of this entire tour. I appreciate you guys. Um, originally, Dan Preslin was supposed to come up and do some percussion, but it just never worked out. So Dan Preslin, um, drummer of Neo. We'll figure something out in the future, okay, homie? Like, it, we'll figure it out. Um, so then, after that, this was my time of, like, you don't really get to sleep. Um, my day finished at 3 a.m. once I got home, and I packed up for my flight, and the day was done. Alana and Troy, thank you again for letting me stay at your place, and Alana, thank you for driving me and, like, everything. You're fantastic. Um, so... <laughs> I woke up, um, not too early, but around 8 o'clock in the morning. Funny enough, Matt Clavins, who's the guitarist of Neable of Scaris, was doing Alana and Troy's deck. He's also, like, a tradesman and a carpenter, and he was like, it, I got to see Matt Clavins, that's all I, I care about. Um, so I said my goodbyes to Nurgle, which was hard, I said goodbye to Troy. Um, headed to the airport, and I was supposed to sleep on the plane, and for some reason, for my last three flights, I've always got a screaming toddler behind me kicking my chair and I did not sleep before the Perth show. I was hoping to get in like a four hour nap. Never happened. So I went right into the Perth show and the Perth show was just fantastic. The meet and greet was so much fun. Um, it was a great way to end the tour. Uh, I went up on stage, I played the full set and uh, people sang along to Nymphetamine and that was just incredible. Um, now, you know, I didn't write that song um, I believe that Martin Powell, the one of the keyboardists of Cradle of Filth, um, he wrote that song. It's his baby, and so much respect to him because he wrote a Midian, which is my favorite Cradle of Filth album. Um, that song has, has been nominated for a Grammy, and it's an honor that I get to play that song. So that was just really cool, and I totally arranged it all for the harp, and it's like you get the whole song experience on the harp. Um, it was good. We did a raffle. I just want to say thank you to everyone who partook in the raffle. We raised um, $80 for the Cat Corner in Melbourne, and we raised $30 for Porsche's Rescue um, in Sydney. Thank you so much for just helping out the little critters of the world. And thank you to Necromancy Cosmetica for, um, I will link them below, thank you to them for donating the, the vegan lipsticks. I love your brand. I'm currently wearing Lestrange right now. I love that brand so much. It's a Stranger Healing Stone. I don't remember, but it's one of the two shades and it's really good stuff. It's great for this hot weather. It's it's made in Puerto Rico, so they know they know about hot water weather. Woo. Getting to the end of filming here. I was thinking of filming one more after this, but I don't think I'm gonna get through it. <laughs> um so yeah, uh the next day I went and I played for a yoga class. It's called the Black Mass 
Um, and usually he does like he'll get to like super atmospheric doom and black metal. Um, thanks Ollie for having me. And uh, I played the harp, I sang Nymphetamine, and what else did I sing? I sang Yoga, and I sang Stranger between like improvising my own music on the harp, and they said it was fantastic, and everyone loved it. Um, and it was just, and I met, um, so my friend Kristen back at home, hi Kristen, um, she introduced me to her best friend uh, Melissa, and we hung out, and it was like this trifecta of just awesomeness, and uh, it was really nice. Um, it's been overall a great tour. I want to thank Trent from Incursion Events and Blair for um, inviting me out. I want to thank um, Bailey and um, is that either Lewis or Alan. I'm so sorry. I want to say Lewis. Thank you so much for having me in Melbourne. Um, to all my friends for showing up. To everyone that showed up. It was just such a cool time. Uh, now I have some time off in Perth. I was going to go to the islands today to see. I believe they're called the Quakas. I don't think I'm actually going to end up going. It's super expensive. It's tourist season and it's hot and I'm tired and I just want to do nothing and be a potato for a few days. I think I'm going to go to a shopping mall tomorrow with Trent and then I'm going to fly home tomorrow night. I'm just going to go look for like makeup brands here in Australia and just geek out in my own way because I can't. So um, it's been great. Um, it's hard doing those two days of no sleep but I make it work. My vegan diet's been fantastic. It's really easy to be vegan here in Australia. Goddamn. I think it's out, I think Australia outdoes Germany and Montreal for being super vegan friendly. Um, well done Australia, you guys know what's up. I love Australia, I hope to come back soon with my band. I'm so happy that this worked out. Uh, and now I am going to go home and work on writing the new Crayo Filth album and working on Antiqua. And slowly doing demos for my solo project. Yep, 2019 is going to be the year of music. No more side, nothing. I don't need to prove myself anymore as anything else either than a musician. It's going back to Lindsay Schoolcraft, the musician, this year. So I'm really excited for that. And I'm also going to go home and get my little travel harp. And more about that later. I'll make a video about it too. It's fun. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, this was my first tour vlog. Thank you again to Marcel Felix for um, getting me this camera so I can record on the other side of the world. This is super cool. I will do more of these soon. Get me on Twitter or Instagram, write me in, let me know what videos you'd like to know about. I'm happy to do them when I have the free time. Thanks guys, I'll see you soon.